up everybody hey what's up it's mr gaza here long time no see but guess what we still rolling strong man right here we're at mr winston's shop here final frontier in port st lucy um we're gonna road force balance um some wheels right now go boom, boom, boom. let me see a t-shirt my friend final frontier yes sir and this is a shop I am going to be coming to because guess what? Yardman forever. Yes, sir. Call 772 222 5113 for any cars you need. I'm asked for Chester. 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 Nice, nice. You see, my friend, everybody did tell me, say, hey, them can't put my tire on my car. I say, what kind of business is this? You see, nobody around to help you anymore. Just because it, it looked difficult for them, but you see, not difficult for this person. You see what I'm saying? Willing, you see when people willing to help you, you go out of your way and help them back 100%. Yeah. And this is where you have to reach my brethren, right here. Hey, what's up guys, welcome back. Listen man, I just got to the house and um, from the shop I'd like to thank mr. Winston for helping me out uh, these tires require because they they take a long time to wear out they're really solid tires I give them mad props for that and um, they're steel tires very hard very difficult to to unmount and easy to mount but these are the super steel 595s. I'm telling you this right now. You see the tread patterns on this? All right. When you don't have a camber kit mounted on your car, you have to please pay close attention to these tires. They're very expensive tires. This side is supposed to look like that. So what I did, I switched it around. So now the good side is on the inside. So we can wear it a little bit evenly. Uh, when I get my camber kit for the front of my car, I will make sure that any tire that I get will wear evenly. This is a very loud tire, very loud tire. Ask me, um, would I recommend buying these again? Um, no, I will not buy it again because they're really really loud and It becomes very choppy you like those uh, mud tires when you pick up and put it on your pickup trucks and stuff It is very choppy even when you have the the tire aligned properly so this is basically what I'm up against right here so I will be mounting these back on the front and the front they're looking good the um, the coilovers the Rev9 coilovers um, they drive good they drive very good but being this is a very heavy car guys do not get the spring rate um, that is 12 on the front and 8 on the back you have to get it higher than that um, as you can see my spring is all fully adjusted all the way up tight and I'm at the max on the elevation I don't want to go any higher than that so I wish I bought the springs that were a little bit stiffer Okay, so I probably need a, a 20, 25K on the front and a uh, probably a 15 on the back just to make sure everything goes perfectly. Um, what I'm getting here is, let's see here. I have to be very careful when I go over bumps. It will knock this this part right here is knocking on here and it's very noticeable 
Um, so I have to be very careful. So when you're buying these coilovers, don't go for the 12K on the front and eight on the rear. See if you can get a higher numbers in the 20s, 25. It, it's a heavy car. It's This car is rated over 4,000 pounds, four and a half, basically four and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount the tires on and um, put it on. I'll catch you right back. Here we go, guys. Here we go. What's up, my peeps? The wheels on. I had to clean off the old glue from the old weights and um, we switched the tires around. Now we put the inside, that was on the inside, now it's on the outside. So now we can wear the tires evenly, make sure it's nice. Just torque them down to 90 foot pounds of torque with my torque wrench. Yep, here we go. Nicely done, nicely done. The barrels inside the wheel, semi-clean because when I was torquing down and using the electric impact, the dust from the slots were falling onto the barrels. So I got to wash that off with water. All in all, she looks good still, guys. All right, looking good. As you can see, it's 100 degrees here in the garage. And once again, I'd like to thank my friends over at the tire shop, Mr. Winston. Uh, thank you very much for helping me out. I appreciate the help. You, um, all the other tire shops were scared. I'm tackling my wheels, you did it. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, be sure, guys, to check him out at his shop. He's got all the latest equipment to take your, take your tires off doing alignment, everything man, this guy's got it all. I've never seen these equipment before. It's pretty good. All right guys, I'm Mr. Gaza here. Head of shop, see peace, love and happiness. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and comment and subscribe. Peace, love and happiness. Cooler made. Go home.